Hello and welcome to Eclectic Classes. In this video, we will study about stepper motor. So let's start. Stepper motor is a pulse driven motor which changes rotor angular position in a step manner. Stepper motors are widely used in open loop position control systems. In a stepper motor, we can get the final position of the motor shaft without any position sensing device. As the stepper motor rotates in steps, we can be aware about the final position of the motor shaft by keeping track of the steps it had moved. Counting of steps could be done by number of pulses applied as stepper motor is a pulse driven motor. This way, by using a stepper motor, even in an open loop control system, we can position our motor in desired location or position. Before going in detail about the stepper motor, let's know where are these motors used. Most popular use of a stepper motor are in printers, DSLR camera, 3D printer, video camera pan, tilt, zoom, robot arm, ATM machine, bill movement and tray elevators. Construction of a stepper motor just like any other motor, stepper motor also have stator and rotor. But stator of a stepper motor has teeth on which the coils are wired, while rotor could be constructed using a permanent magnet or variable reluctance iron core. Rotors also have poles. Working principle of a stepper motor. Basic working principle of a stepper motor is when a stator phase is energized, a magnetic field is generated by the current flowing through the coil of that phase, which results in rotor alignment with the field generated. This way, when we will energize different phases of the stator in a predetermined way, we will be able to move the rotor continuously. Here, the sequence of energization of phases and current in stator phases will be of paramount importance for correct functioning of the stepper motor. Stepper motor types. Depending on the rotor, a stepper motor could be with permanent magnet rotor or variable reluctance rotor or hybrid rotor. Permanent magnet rotor. Here, the rotor is a permanent magnet which aligns with the magnetic field generated by the stator circuit due to the presence of the permanent magnet in a rotor which are attracted to the stator even in the absence of power a detent torque is always present in this type of stepper motors just in case if you are not aware about detent torque it's that amount of torque which must be applied to overcome the static equilibrium of the motor when it is in rest and unpowered this type of a stepper motor has good torque but low speed and low resolution. Variable reluctance rotor. Here the rotor is made of iron core with a specific shape representing poles on the rotor. These poles help it in aligning with the stator phases. As there is no permanent magnet in this type of motor, so detent torque will not be present. This type of stepper motor can reach higher speed and greater resolution but will possess lower torque. Hybrid rotor. Here the rotor is a hybrid between permanent magnet and variable reluctance versions. Being a hybrid of both, it has advantages of both types which are higher resolution, speed and torque. But due to the hybrid rotor construction being complex, it is costly in comparison to other two types. This is used in application where small stepping angles are required as we can get stepping angle of 0.9 degree with this type of stepper motor. Stepper motor could be divided on the basis of number of stator phases and number of stator pole pairs also. Number of stator phases is nothing but the number of independent coils present in a stepper motor. If it's a two phase stator motor, then it will have two independent coils as shown in the figure. Two phase stepper motor is the most widely used one, while three phase and five phase motors are also there but less common. 
coming to the second characteristics which is number of stator pole pair is the number of teeth pair occupied by each phage in the first figure it's a two phage single pole pair stator type stepper motor in the second figure as two teeth pairs are of same phase represented by green and orange colors so this one is two phase dipole pair stator type stepper motor stepper motors are driven by driver modules these driver modules are responsible for sending the pulses or powering on different phases of a stator in a specific pattern to rotate the rotor stepper motor driving techniques a stepper motor could be driven in any of the mentioned mode which are wave mode full step mode half step mode and micro stepping mode let's go through these one by one for the sake of convenience we are going to consider two phase stator and a magnet as the rotor now let's go through each mode one by one wave mode in this mode only one phase is energized at a time and each phase is charged alternatively in first picture current is flowing in a phase only now rotor will get aligned with a phase in second picture current is passing through b phase only now the rotor will move by 90 degree and will be aligned with phase b in third picture a phase is powered on but the current direction is reversed so rotor will again rotate by 90 degree and will align with phase a but now south pole of rotor will be towards a phase coil similarly in fourth picture when only b phase is powered on but with reversed current direction rotor will move again by 90 degree this is an old method and not used much at present time full step mode in this mode two phases are always energized at the same time functioning will be quite similar to previous mode only difference will be parking position of the rotor in steps will be middle point of the two coils as both the coil will try to align the rotor with themselves as two coils are being charged at once higher current will result in higher magnetic field and hence higher torque half step mode it's a combination of wave and full step mode in both of the previous mode we got step size of 90 degree but in this half step mode we will get step size of 45 degree when we will charge only coil a we will get rotor aligned with coil a then when we will charge both the coils a and b then rotor will move by 45 degree same as explained in full step mode in third step we will charge coil b resulting in next 45 degree movement of rotor and so on disadvantage of this mode is non constant torque as to get 45 degree step size we charge one coil and two coils alternatively so weak and strong magnetic fields in alternate cycle result in non constant torque micro stepping mode it's an enhanced version of half step mode as it allows to reduce the step size even further while having a constant torque output this is achieved by controlling the current passing through each phase of the coil as we are controlling the current in all the coils the driver for this mode is quite complex this mode is the most widely used mode in stepper motors So this was all about stepper motor their types and different driving modes of a stepper motor hope you like the video i'll be back soon with another interesting session till then stay tuned subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and like button do post your views in comment section thanks for watching bye for now